Hey guys, I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Um, as you can see here, the rear end of the truck is sitting quite high. This was last winter, just shortly after I got the 6 liter put in it. Um, this was probably in, I'm going to say, February. Um, anyway, yeah, there's quite a bit of weight on the front end. Quite a weight difference between the four cylinder engine and the six liter and as you can see it's up quite a bit in the back end so we're gonna do something about that because it's just not riding that great so guys the Colorado sits a little high in the rear end so I got this Lowering components, rear lowering block kit. This should drop the rear end down. There's the number. And I actually emailed Belltech and they said this was the right kit for this truck. So we're going to find out. Belltech did not sponsor me in this video. I bought and paid for this lowering kit myself. But yeah. Um, it's just sitting a little high in the back end, uh, for me anyway. So we're gonna install that lowering kit and hopefully that'll get it sitting a little bit more level. Um, two inches may end up being a little too much, I don't know. Um, but the truck does sit fairly low in the front, so I think this will just make a, like a better ride if I lower this down so anyway let's get to work and install this so here I am with the grinder um, and a cutting wheel I tried taking the nuts off the bottom um, but they just were not coming off. There's no way. I had a, a huge breaker bar on them and they didn't budge. Um, so I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to cut the U-bolts. I have the kit came with new U-bolts anyway. Um, so instead of messing around and trying to get them off, I just decided to cut them. Um, I cranked on them for a while and they just weren't turning uh, and the little bit they did turn they were still really 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 hard like really tight um, that's one thing up here in Canada and living in the Maritimes uh, we get a lot of uh, salt on our roads and things rust so those uh, nuts were rusted right on there, so cutting them off was just way easier. Um, I just took the grinder and snapped them off. And I want to take note too that when you're doing this, I'm supporting the frame of the truck. Um, I'm not supporting it by the axle. Um, you never ever support your axle when you're going to unbolt your U-bolts from the leaf springs. Uh, you'll see here in a minute, I included a little bit of this guy's video I found on YouTube. And um, I don't know why, but he had the axle supported when he was trying to lower his truck and very very dangerous like this is the proper way to do it I have the frame supported up on jack stands that way there's no pressure on the axle or the rear end or the leaf springs it's all free there um, but yeah I was quite shocked when I saw what this guy did on YouTube 
I guess it was a good way to show people what not to do. This is it here. This is a screenshot of, you can see he's got the jacks underneath. Those are jack stands and he's got them underneath his axle supporting the whole back end of the truck. Um, not the way to do that at all. Um, he was actually very, very lucky he didn't get hurt. But, and maybe this was the culprit, I don't know. Uh, he actually was drinking some beer when he did this. So maybe that's why he didn't have the truck support it right, I don't know. Um, but I just come across his video and there's a little clip of him here when he's actually undoing the U-bolt and the truck just about falls on him. Like he's, he was so lucky. Um, he could have got hurt really, really bad. Um, so you can see here, he took the inside U-bolt off. He put the two nuts on it and now he's starting to take the, the outer edge U-bolt off and see what happens. The axle stays in place, but the whole truck dropped. He's very lucky that did not that spring didn't come down and jam his hand against the floor. He's very, very lucky. So as you can see there, I've got the frame supported by jack stands up in front of the leaf spring um, and I'm using the jack to adjust or raise or lower the rear end um, that's the proper way to do it that way the truck is going to stay there no matter what I do with the rear end the truck will stay there and what I decided to do these trucks um, all the Colorados for some re well I know why but all the Colorados on the driver's side sit lower in the rear end than on the passenger side and I believe it's got a lot to do with the fact that the gas tank is on the driver's side so there's a lot of extra weight plus you got the driver too sitting in the truck most of the time and I think just over time that rear leaf spring on the driver's side just gets weak um, weaker than the passenger side and it tends to sit a little lower so um, what I decided to do is I had uh, that's what I'm doing right now I had a set of uh, overload I guess leaf, leaf spring overloads they're just helper springs is what they are and I decided because I had them I didn't have to buy them they were actually for my son's truck and he never used them so they were still sitting in the shop so I took one of them and put it, that's what I'm doing now, I'm putting it in on the driver's side. And I was hoping that that would give the spring enough support to pick that side of the truck up a little bit, even though I am lowering it. Because I figured if I lowered it two inches and it was already, like it was like an inch and a half lower on the driver's side that's how much lower it was so I figured the leaf the extra leaf there the add leaf would help pick that side of the truck up and help level out the back end of the truck which it did um, now there's only about half an inch to three quarters of an inch difference from side to side so the trucks sitting much leveler now it, it looks a lot better um, and I didn't put anything on the other side at all. I just left it stock. I didn't put any, uh, add leafs in there or anything or leaf helper in that side because, um, I didn't want to pick up the other side. It was fine the way it was. Um, all I did was put in the lowering block. So this side I had to actually take the leaf spring apart and then put the new leaf in there and put it all back together. Um, it wasn't that hard. And I'm just using the vice grips there and the clamp 
just to kind of help hold everything together. There's the the helper leaf there. It goes in right on the bottom. And it was just enough just to level up the back end of the truck. Um, not too much. The truck still rides good. I thought maybe the adding that extra leaf in there would cause the truck to ride funny down the road, like it'd be a little stiffer on one side than the other, but it really didn't. It didn't uh, seem to make much difference, so. And the lowering block, I should tell you, it is a two inch lowering block. Um, the kit is from Belltech, as you saw at the first of the video. Um, and it was a great kit. The only thing I had to do was I had to, uh, I had to drill out the center where the, there's a little hole where the bolt, head of the bolt goes up into, and it wasn't quite big enough, so I had to use a bit. I think it was a, I think I used a 9 sixteenths drill bit, and I had to drill out that hole a little bit in order to get it to fit down over the over the bolt because the lowering block wouldn't go in and fit over top of that bolt so so there I'm just uh, bolting the extra leaf in there right now and as you can see the trucks not moving at all it's supported by the frame um, and I'm able to raise and lower the axle safely um, Yeah, this job wasn't that hard though, like, um, it took me most of the day, I think, to do it with the leaf and everything, adding the extra leaf in, um, but if I was just doing the lowering blocks, I think you could do it in two to three hours, probably. Um, it took some extra time because of the, putting that extra leaf on that side. So, this is the lowering block going in, and then I'll let everything down here. And there is holes, um, that bolt that goes up through the leaf, there's a little head on it, and then there's also a little tab on the axle perch, and there's also a little tab on the block itself, the lowering block. And that's just to make sure everything lines up right on the axle. Um, it makes sure everything stays where it should um, and shouldn't move around. Or Because if you get your axle off, it's going to throw off your truck the way your truck drives. Um, but yeah, I'm raising and lowering that axle, no problem. And yeah, here I'm just using my drill and a wire wheel um, because the I, I explained earlier the that hole I had to drill that out as you can see there um, in the lowering block to get it to fit over top of the head on the spring. But there it all fell into place. Now we just have to get the U-bolts installed. So there I'm just cutting off that bolt. That's the bolt that goes down through the leaf. Um, that's the one that came with the add a leaf. And here I'm just going to uh, I'm going to jack the spring up a little bit so I can get that plate that the shocks attached to up underneath the axle. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the weight of the spring going down. I'm not actually lifting the truck. I'm just taking a little bit of weight of the spring. So that plate will slide over into place. The truck is still sitting on the frame, on the jack stands.
and even with adding the add leaf on this side the u-bolts were still um, long enough uh, to get my nuts on there and without any trouble at all and I am putting never seize on them on the nuts because again we live up here in Canada in the Maritimes and stuff loves to rust here it most likely too has a lot to do with the fact that we're surrounded by water we're on an island so um, that would certainly cause stuff to rust that's for sure I love that DeWalt impact that makes life so much easier and that's it that one's snugged up I'm just gonna tighten them a little bit more here with the impact and that's it um, the other side same idea put the U-bolts down through and tighten them up and put never sees on them um, yeah I'm just gonna let the truck down now and there is a, a little bit of video here at the end of the truck running um, outside with the lowering blocks on it and you can see there's quite a difference uh, it dropped it down quite a bit and the truck rides way way better now too before it felt like the the front end was getting pushed down into the ground um, that's what it felt like because it was just so much weight on the front end and it was picking the the back end of the truck right up so but yeah it was a nice little project the kit highly recommend it it's a great kit if you need to drop the rear of your Colorado um, it worked really well I highly recommend it to anybody that needs to lower the rear end of their truck anyway thanks for watching there's a little bit of video here of the truck running stay safe everyone